everybody welcome to my channel or welcome back um, my name is dream but today we are diving deep into back to school so um, my little one is heading back to school in a few weeks and I am going to switch out her at home library to reflect that season of life I typically change out her library to go along with the seasons um, and then seasonal activities so this is just very fitting I have the book section in categories. For reference, my daughter is six years old and she is going into first grade, but you can tailor them and mix them to go along with your ch child's age and stage. The first one are school theme books. So I picked up a few. The first one is Splat the Cat, Back to School, Fun Easy Read, gets your little one excited and anticipating the beginning of the school year. Like I said, I like to put this out before school starts so we can build up that anticipation. And then I typically will change out this library at the end of September and go towards more apple picking, fall, that kind of stuff. The next one is the night before first grade. These come in all the grade levels. So you could do the night before kindergarten, um, the night before second grade and so on. So these are such a great, great read and a fun little addition and little um, tradition to add to your back to school. And then this one had amazing reviews. It is School is Cool and we can't wait to dive into this one. In addition to school specific books, I also like to add books that have to do with numbers, counting, science, any of those educational topics. So the first one is Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. This is one of our favorite books that we love it. They also have the number version in this as well. I always like to add it this time of year to my little girl's library. Then we have this one, Are You a Scientist? A fun, easy read. Your little one gets to learn about different scientists. It's short, precise, and to the point. The next one is the solar system. We are a little bit solar system obsessed around here. We have this and a game that we love to play, but this is just really easy, gives your kids quick, easy facts about each of the planets. And then this is a fun addition for my daughter, my pink and powerful alphabet. This one goes through the alphabet, but it is a little story, so it's a fun, um, light-hearted story that features each of the alphabet letters so this is always a good one and then I also like to add in this um, she loves Disney princesses but this is like a phonics reading um, program there is about 12 books in here they're e easy read they're numbered so you start at activity number one and then so on but each of them feature a different princess and a different story so these are always fun for this time of year for little ones the next thing is I like to add in some story telling books but are still about um, important skills that I want her to bring into first grade. So this is Sophia Sparks. This is about a little girl who's fun and inventive and she has incredible ideas, all qualities that I want my little one to have in school and to bring into school. So I love this to reinforce all of that fun. And then we have this one, Full Full of Love, just to give your little one a reminder how much you love them while they are at school. And then I love this one. Um, this one is Say Something, and I just love the message and the story behind it. Just if somebody's being bullied or somebody isn't being treated treated correctly. Um, just teaching kids and reinforcing being brave, standing up for what you believe in, and um, just being a good, kind-hearted person. All of those skills that we want our little ones to carry into the school environment. In addition to that, I always like to add in some traditional stories. So for that, we have If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, such a traditional story that you can't live without. The Three Little Pigs, love this one. And then Where the Wild Things Are. Not necessarily school theme books, but these are just traditional ones. And these ones have a special place in our heart and our family because these were passed down to my husband um, from his mom. These were his books when he was younger. So they are 
very well loved, very well used, but a great addition to a library. And then I always like to include some of her favorites. So we have this one, Princess Stories. Love this book. It's a little bit of a twist. So they do have Sleeping Beauty, but it's a twist on all of the Princess Stories. I love these stories just for the fact is they teach kids those important lessons that you want to bring into school. Um, being kind, being brave, um, being a friend to all, all of those things, being helpful, all of those qualities that we want our little ones to have in the school environment. And then into the, in addition to that, um, Camila, the Cupcake Fairy, my daughter just loves this book. She loves cupcakes, loves all things that sparkle. Um, and this is just a great comfort reading addition to the library. And then for an interactive portion in our last book today, I inclu included this, Meet the Groovy Unicorns. Because in school, starting a new school year, they're going to be meeting a lot of friends. And this is a fun, interactive book. And it also has the puppets with it. Let's try to get this out. The puppets with it because our little ones are going to be doing a lot of meeting, a lot of greeting, especially with the teachers, the teachers and all their new friends this school year. But that is all guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's get reading with our little ones and I hope everybody has an amazing back to school. Bye guys.